Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, and I am here live again in the control room at the one and only Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in Southend-on-Sea, England. I've got another rare Japanese Ibanez RG series guitar to share with you all today. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, hit subscribe, come join our circle of friends, our little family on YouTube and the internet. And, um, yeah, guys, you're going to see some really rare guitars I get from all around the world up close as if you were holding them in your very own hands at your local guitar shop. Really, really cool stuff, guys. So what do we have here? This is an Ibanez RG570 made in Japan in the Fuji Gen factory, the world-famous guitar factory, but it's not just any RG570. This one was only made for about a year, from 92 to 93. And it's got some interesting features. So, first of all, I'll show you the back of the headstock, where you can see the RG570 model number and then the serial number. So F is the factory code, that's Fujigen, and 3 is the year, so that's 1993. Look at these beautiful gold Godo tuners. You also have a gold neck plate with the uh, the tilt joint. Really, really cool. So this is the 570 GF. Very rare model. First one I've ever seen. As soon as I saw it and saw how clean it is, I said, I have to buy this thing. I can't find a single chip on it. There's some light marks um, just from general handling and play, but this thing is clean, guys. Super, super clean. Now, what made this different from other 570s is a few things. Straight off the bat, only sold in Japan and Europe. That's it. America, you couldn't get one of these. Next, uh, instead of black hardware, you got gold hardware, which looks really, really nice. You can see the uh, on the details of the knobs, it kind of has like a flat top. Get in focus. And gold nut, gold string tree, tuners, and the neck plate. Next thing, instead of having the S1 um, and the, I can't remember what the other S is. S, I think it's S1 and S2. But instead of having the S series humbuckers, you got the V7 and the V8 for this one. Everyone else got the uh, S-Series humbuckers. All right, that's different. Next thing that's different, the top. You have a flame top, but it's not just any flame top. There's actually no maple on this body. Isn't that interesting? It's all basswood body. So you get the look and appearance of having a maple cap without actually having any maple wood on the guitar. That's going to... Get, that's going to give you a different sound and tone for sure. Having a solid base wood body all consistent all the way through. What they used was very popular technique in kind of the early to mid 90s out in Japan. Uh, Jackson was doing it on some of their guitars, their Performer Series guitars. Fender was doing it on their premium Japanese guitars. But it's kind of like what they call the photo flame in, in Fender. Uh, Ibanez calls it, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, gravure, gra gravure, 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 I don't know. You guys let me know how you think it's pronounced, but that's what the G stands for in the GF. Gravure, gravure, flame. <laughs> uh, it's not a word that's going to come up in conversation very often. And it refers to the technique that's used to create this maple flame top effect. It's really cool. Again, they only did this for a year, 92 to 93, and it looks awesome, but a lot of people, some people don't like maple on their guitars. They say, ah, it brightens the tone, it brightens the sound. So if you wanted the look, but you were one of those people that are like, ah, I don't actually like maple on my guitar body, you are in luck, guys. Um, yeah. And then just, just the color the top, and then this awesome gold hardware, the condition. This is just a really, really nice guitar coming out of the top factory for the brand. I'll show you the back again. 
You've got uh, quarter saw and maple neck, one piece with a scarf joint. Gorgeous bit of wood, super clean. No stress cracks or anything like that around the, uh, the back bolts for the locking nut. Everything is just really great condition on this. Someone really cared for this and cherished it. Like I said, some light marks. There's like a mark in the lacquer here on the back. Some fingerprints too. <laughs> but very minor stuff, guys. I mean, look how clean the back covers are. They're not covered in any scratches or anything like that. This um, definitely hasn't been gigged. Just one of those nice barnyard finds out in England. Got lucky with this one. Fantastic condition. Let me put it over here. Sorry about the mess, guys. We're doing some more uh, wiring. We got a bunch of new cool gear from Dan Hawkins of the Darkness in our studio. So now we're just going through and properly getting it wired in. Yeah, look at that. Such a good looking guitar. If you want to buy this guitar, it can be yours. If you go to EssexRecordingStudios.com, our website, there you go, there's your spelling, you can freeze that, EssexRecordingStudios.com, it will be there shortly for sale. Also on Reverb.com, you can go look there, just type in Ibanez RG570, and uh, this should pop up straight away. Neck plate. These are usually heavily oxidized. Uh, a lot of times, especially at this age, this era, early 90s, a lot of times you can't even read the Ibanez logo. So to get one this clean is uh, pretty rare. I mean, look at how good the reflection is. You can see my hand. You can see the door. See the window in the door. Window in the door. That's, uh, that's great. Gold strap button. Might be the best looking... 570 I think we've had they've done reissues but this is the real deal guys all right uh if you want to record with it by all means come over book some time help us wire all this stuff in get to play with all the cool amps and uh yeah guys we'll mix some music together so anytime you find yourself in England we're real close to London uh, South End Airport is 10 minutes away from us. London Stansted Airport. Any of the airports, you get there, hop on a train, you'll be here in a few minutes. No big deal. We'd love to have you. And then we're hopefully going to have a rock venue open next door with, uh, with four stages. That's the plan. Let's look at the neck pockets here. Neck pocket there, a little dusty. Let's see here. There you go, neck pockets there, and there, minor hairline in the lacquer, very, very common, um, it would be weird if it didn't have that, given that this is a 93, um, and it's a bolt-on, yeah, great, uh, follow us on all the socials, guys, at Essex Recording Studios, Instagram, Twitter, we get a few DMs every day, really appreciate that. On the old face space, old Facebook, Instagram. Good, good stuff. Got a lot of new exciting projects coming out. So if you want to see other stuff going on in the studio that's not related to just up-close guitar videos, that's the best place to go. And uh, we'll have some demos soon for you. Going to get some exciting people booked in to make some movies that y'all have been asking for. Let's show you the frets. Wow, there's like no fret wear. Look at that, guys. No one played this thing. That's a crime. Well, someone watching this, I think, is going to end up playing it. That's for sure. Yes, okay. It's a late night, guys. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm tired. It's been a long, long day. But I will be doing more guitar videos. So let me go. 
I've got some more exciting stuff. I still haven't done. I got this 63 guild Dwayne Eddy over here, 400, and this Gibson Custom Shop Birdland. So, yeah, real cool stuff for y'all. I am out of here. Gotta go. Gotta make more movies. Um, stick around on the channel. Look at some of the other playlists as well. There's over a thousand guitar videos. Over a thousand. So if you like Ibanez's, I don't know if that's the plural of Ibanez. What do you say? Ibanai? Ibanez? Ibanez's? If you like them, there's loads of other Ibanez videos for you to check out. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I will catch you soon with more videos coming up. And uh, if you want to buy this, got to move fast. I don't think this is going to last very long. Uh, good luck finding one in better condition. All right? I'll catch you all later.